Hello again. Um, so this is the Mariva um, head gasket, and so timing chain has got that bad. It's broke a guide. I'll put some pictures in the video as well to show you. Well, there's a bit of the guide there. See the chains worn the groove through the cover. So yeah, um, that's the colour of the engine oil. All them bits of swarf in there. But I'm hoping because the lady's not got much money. So, strip the oil pump, the oil pump looks good. Probably just take the bung out, take the oil pressure relief valve out, clean all that and the oil pump up because it's part of the cover. Clean that up. Clean the pickup pipe for the sump, get rid of all that. I'm going to pull the head off where I can break cleaner through all the um, oil galleries in the block. And certainly take the filter housing off and get that cleaned up. Possibly take the um, bearing caps off have a look at the bearings but I can't quite imagine the, the swarf being hard enough to mark the bearings because from what I remember the bearings are harder than aluminium but stronger than the steel of the crank and your cams and things and the oil has been circulating around the engine so everything's been lubricated nothing's blocked so I'm hoping Nothing's gone through that strainer, hopefully. It's just a, a tinge of it. But yeah. So, pull the head off now. Um, so yeah. Um, so if you ever get one of these, 1 litre to the 1.4, so 1 litre, 1, 2 and 1.4. If they're rattling, they're going to want a timing chain. Have a look at the oil pump usually okay. Make sure you clean your pickup pipe and you take your sump off. Put a new sump gasket on and put a new chain kit on as well and a decent oil filter because these oil filters like collapsing on the cartridge filters and they do it on the Nissan stuff as well. They just all shrink and go manky. They're not good really, the paper element and stuff. But yeah, a um, bit cold today, we've got fire going. Um, it is Sunday, I'm only here because we're moving some cars about and I'm waiting for my brother to finish polishing a run out of the car for some bodywork, so just stand in front of the fire a minute, but yeah, that's what's going on, I've got my silly dread back from the course, I've probably not shown you that actually. There's Jake. Silly dread back from cylinder head place, new exhaust valves, pressure test and skim, um, it was quite a, it was like 180 quid, um, so that was a bit expensive, got the head set for it, so it's also got new valve stem oil seals in the head, put that back over it just so no paint gets on it, um, so that's for this, and hopefully we'll get this done, I've had this since August, this now, get this done um, so yeah um, it was busy day Saturday uh, my two minor services but one didn't have the island filter she just wanted a check over doing so I just did a break and everything on that one was a punto one was a Nissan Note E12 1.2 non supercharged um, looked at a Astro G yeah, Astro G for a exhaust flexi uh, broke. So I'll do that in the week. I've also got brake pipes to do on another Astro G so it can go through its MOT. And there's also a timing belt to do on that as well. Um, and a water pump, I believe. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Um, if you like the video, please leave me a like. If you want to see more content like this, um, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell notification to be notified to when I put out a new video. 
Um, if you didn't like the video, please leave me a thumbs down and tell me why. Uh, I had a fella or a person say what information was in the Hyundai video. Uh, it's quite a bit because not a lot of garages know there's a timing chain at the back of the cams. Um, that always throws them out when the you get them Hyundai coupes in and they sound tappity. They start failing them on, there's a top end rattle and there's low oil pressure and start coming out with loads of crap that just ain't true. It wants a new timing chain and a tensioner and guides on the back of the cams. Usually fixes that one. Okay, um, I'll probably respond to his question actually. Um, see ya. Thanks for watching. Um, see ya. Right, stripped it down. Um, cylinder heads off. Bag of tap hydraulic tappets and the cam carrier caps. Um, there's a couple still left in the head. So our heads off. Down to a burr engine. Um, yeah. It. It don't look too bad, I mean the oil's got the, the silvery stuff in there. See the tinge there. So it's trying to clear out as much as I was possible. Cylinder head, killed an inlet valve there. So I've not took them out yet, this is just by looking at the head. So number one, the number two. Looks like it's killed them inlet valves. Nothing looks like it's done on number three, but the exhaust looks like they're uh, certainly that one. And that edge there looks like it's bent. Certainly the exhaust valves here. That one looks a bit out of line. That one on number four. Because um, when you was cranking, it was trying to start. So if there at least is one pot that's still got a bit of compression, but kept coming up as random, random multiple cylinder misfire. So it was one and three and two and three, and obviously I think we're, we're quite a way out on timing at least. I think it was a good four or five teeth out, um, so it won't start when the timing's out. Um, so yeah. So, cylinder heads there, so I'm going to take that in work tomorrow, pull the valves out, put them in a bag, give them them. Um, take the sump, might clean that out at work as well, and jet wash, load of TFR, strip that down. So yeah, that's it. Um, yeah.